occupation indeed. As we speak, several of His Majesty's warships are preparing to sail here to Boston with nearly 2,000 regular troops to occupy our shores. They will march through every street and every corner of Boston. Too right you are, madam. No man can pretend to say that the peace and the good order of the community is secure while soldiers are quartered within the body of a town. Mm. I propose any course of action that will prevent the landing of these troops, even if force must be involved. Force, Mr. Molyneux? You've always been a leader in these matters, but your threats will get you nowhere. Perhaps if you and your so-called Sons of Liberty began behaving as true English subjects, these troops would not be necessary. As it is, we need these soldiers to preserve and protect the peace which you so brutally disrupt. Since the passage of these Townsend duties, our town, our very livelihoods have been under assault. John Hancock's ship, the Liberty, seized taxes on our very glass, lead, paint, tea. We've already lost our rights as Englishmen. Must we now suffer the indecency of an occupying force? I say we are under siege, not under protection. Under siege, indeed. You and your mobs move through these streets using violent measures to make your demands heard. Let us see how this ridiculous bluff and bombast stands up to the king's will. I think it will not endure the smell of gunpowder. <laughs> well, if we have to ruffle the well, tar, the feathers of a few Tory birds, then so be it. If we allow these troops to land, they will occupy our meeting houses, quarter in our homes, they may even seize the common. Then they'll infiltrate every corner of our lives, and what then? Then let them come. We must be resolved to prevent the landing of these lobsters once they mm. arrive, come what may. 